guys, Nick here back with another video and today, today we're controlling flex with our voice. So what do I mean? Well, next to me, I have the Google Home, recently released in Australia. Behind me, my TV, which runs my Plex client. So for those of you not in the know, Plex is a free piece of software that displays your own media files in a Netflix kind of way. You can have your own personal Netflix. And I've been using it now for quite a few years and the dream has always been to control it with voice. Late last year, or or early this year, Plex teamed up with Amazon to deliver the Amazon Alexa skill for Plex. In short, it provides rudimentary voice control skills for Plex using Amazon's Echo Assistant speaker. But for some of us, that just wasn't enough. We wanted to control Plex with Google Home. Until recently, we are kinda screwed. But some champion online who goes by the name Data Hazard has built his own Google Assistant app and it works perfectly. So enough of me talking about it. How about I show you? Okay, Google, turn on the TV. You bet your bottom dollar. Yeah, you do. So with his app, you can play, pause, rewind, fast forward, play random movies, TV shows, and you can get really specific. It goes a step further. For those of you that have questionable means of accessing your media, not pointing fingers, he has developed integration into Sonar, SickRage, SickBeard, all those apps. And now with your voice, you can control your entire library, which is, it's a big deal. Let's get into it. So to start, we just ask Google. Okay, Google. Talk to Flex TV. Okay, getting Flex TV. Hi, I'm Flex TV. What can I do for you today? Let's demonstrate its abilities. Now, currently the way I have it set up on a really slow laptop over Wi-Fi, the responses aren't as fast, but if you've got it directly wired to your local network, it is lightning quick. Now I'm gonna hold the remote just so I can pause the playback quickly. Let's start. Okay, Google, ask Flex TV to play Star Wars. Okay, let's get Flex TV. You got it, playing Star Wars 1977. All right, so playing a movie is pretty easy, but what if you get home from work and you wanna watch the latest episode of that favorite TV show you've been watching? Well, okay, Google, ask Flex TV to play the latest episode of Suits. But let's get more complicated still. So again, with the remote or without the remote. Okay, Google, ask Flex TV to play season three, episode nine of Game of Thrones. Sure, here's Flex TV. No problem, playing the reigns of Castamir. But all this stuff, you know, we can do that. That's not big. What I'll do next will blow your mind. Okay, Google, ask Flex TV to play Star Wars at one hour and 15 minutes. Okay, getting Flex TV. And as you can see. As you command, playing Star Wars 1977. So pretty cool stuff. What if you wanna watch a movie with your favorite actor in it? Well, you can ask Flex to do that as well. Okay, Google. Ask Flex TV to play a movie with Ryan Reynolds. Sure, here's Flex TV. So all of that's cool, but what if you want to watch a movie that you don't have, but you thought you had? Okay, Google. Ask Flex TV to play Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Sure, here's Flex TV. I couldn't find that in the library. Do you want me to try downloading Guardians Galaxy Volume 2? Yes. Okay, I've added Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, obviously, to the fetch list. So hopefully, as you saw there, I had Couch Potato open, it added it to the watch list, and it all worked perfectly and that will start downloading. So anyway guys, that's it for this video. Just a quick look at controlling Plex with Google Home, which is just incredible. 
If you want to know how to install this, how to get it working where you are, I'll leave all links down below in the description, all the different forums that Data Hazards on. I'll link the GitHub page, which has the file that you can install and get working. I highly recommend you donate to him because he has done this out of pocket. He didn't ask for any money. He's just gone and developed this incredible app. And yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.